most important thing I want you, uh, everybody to know that I was just doing my job uh, as an educator, instructing the band, uh, allowing the band to play. Minor High School Band Director Johnny Mims is sharing his side of the story today after the incident following the minor Jackson Olin football game that ended with him being tased and arrested. Mims now is charged with harassment, disorderly conduct and with resisting arrest after he refused to follow commands from Birmingham police officers to stop the band from playing after the game. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is on the story. Valerie, we know that Mims is on administrative leave and that the school system is investigating. Does Mims believe that he did anything wrong that night? Pam, from the way he answered my questions today, Mims believes he is a victim. I referenced what was on the body camera footage for all to see and asked him pointedly if he believes his reaction to officers' repeated orders escalated the situation. I was not trying to be defiant uh, to the police department. Again, I was just trying to do my job. Minor High School Band Director Johnny Mims says it was previously established with the band director at Jackson Olin High School to play three tunes after the game. According to body camera footage released by the Birmingham Police Department, we see an interaction between Mims and officers 18 minutes after the game ended, telling him it's time to go. What do you think that your actions towards the police officers, what kind of example or how did students respond to seeing that? I think the students know deep down in their heart that Mr. Mims, all, what, what all he was trying to do is to make sure that we were able to finish what we were doing, which had already been agreed upon. Mims can be heard telling officers several times to get out of his face prior to him being tased and arrested. I asked him if he thought his actions escalated the situation. The, the only feedback you're getting from me it was letting the officer know it because you're between me and the students. And so you're interfering. If you wanted it, it was important for us to cut off or for us to leave, you're interfering with the opportunity for me to do that with the students. Mims claims the situation wouldn't have escalated had police waited until the end of the song. There's got to be a respect on both sides, and I feel like that was exactly what wasn't done. While the argument is made on his behalf that the footage BPD released doesn't paint the entire picture of what happened, Mims says he never should have been tased, calling the action excessive. One parent says for them, the entire situation didn't appear to escalate until they were all left in the dark. Before the lights went out, everybody was kind of okay, but as soon as the lights went out, I know for the dance scene, they took off running. Kids were screaming, crying. Now, Mims is a union member. Today, the Ed Alabama Education Association is asking that he be allowed to return to work. Live in Birmingham, I'm Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.